Hey everyone, I'm Ultraviolet4 and this is part 6 of Frogman the Assassin playing Gozag, we're on D14, we're kind of struggling for food, we've got one bread ration left. Um, fortunately you can always um, fund, food, fund food shops with Gozag. I'm just sitting here blocking arrows, eventually he'll either come to us or run out of arrows. Good old shields. I remember earlier when the Centaur Warrior was terrifying. Not gonna pick up this sack of spiders because we have no evocations and we're also kind of struggling for slots. Okay, so our plan here is to finish off the dungeon. We've got two more floors of this and then we're gonna head into either spider or swamp. Not sure yet. Probably spider. Swamp is usually the easier of the two, but Oh, that's a deep elf mage with a hell wing. Oh yeah, we have no amazing way to kill hydras, so we don't have a flaming sword. I mean, we can hit we can hit them with a dagger. That's I mean that will work. We can also throw tomahawks or javelins at them. Again, it will work, but um, it's not certainly not a very fast way to kill them. All right, so my plan here is to hop to these stairs and then just go up okay that way um, we can just get the deep health mage on his own or at least that's the plan near the end of the last one we found found a new stack of poison needles we've got 30 now so I don't mind spamming them a bit more again fighting any summoner on a stair is always um, a good idea. We're just gonna eat this royal jelly immediately because you can always go back upstairs when and if they summon. Alright, is this a, a singing sword time? No. He made some noise, but it, I don't know. I'm still a bit confused by the singing sword. Like he made noise then, but I didn't see any of them take any damage. And here, he's, he's screaming, so he prematurely composes your obituary. <laughs> Man, this guy is, is savage. But I don't see them taking any damage. So yeah, I don't know. That is a an orc warrior who just drank an invis potion. Nice. Okay, so... Can the Manticore see invis? I don't think so. No. Okay. So with the Orc Warrior between us and the Manticore, the Manticore is going to try to barb us, in which case he's probably going to hit the Orc Warrior like that. Although it missed everything. <laughs> he actually just killed the Orc Warrior. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's always such great fun when enemies kill other invis enemies because they don't know they're there. Oh, hatch. Gargoyle. All right. well, I can't say that he, he spawned because um, enemies no longer spawn on levels. So, being used to hack up chunks of meat it's, it's undignified. Um, so there's a change relatively recently that effectively got rid of the out of depth timer. So monsters will no longer spawn on floors. They will only spawn um, when floors are first generated. Which means, yeah, no more out of depth timer. Although um, on new levels, more monsters will spawn. So you get um, it's meant to, okay, I don't know, I'm like talking myself in a circle. Okay, so the way that it worked before is you come down to a level, a whole bunch of monsters would be generated, um, they'd all be asleep, and then as you explored around, spending time on the level, new monsters would generate, and if you sp spent too long on a floor, the out of depth timer would start to kick in, and so the monsters that generated would get harder and harder and harder. That's how in the last game 
I ended up fighting so many caustic shreks. It's because the out of depth timer was um, just making more and more shreks. So that's no longer the case. Now, now monsters will only generate when a floor is first made, um, and some percentage of them will be awake. So you can't. It's no longer possible to stealth stab a complete floor. Whoops, that's not what I want. I want to fire confusion units, okay. Uh, we've got our poison, so I'm not really that afraid of the green one. The acid one is way scarier. Here's a glowing greatsword. Well, I mean, we've got seven shields now, but what if that's a greatsword of... I don't know. A vampiric greatsword? It's flaming. Um, that is a hydra killer weapon. Okay, so we're gonna keep that with us for swamp, maybe, but um, we're gonna use the shield generally. I'm gonna say let's drop the needles of sleeping because uh, we have no stealth, so it seems like basically when we sleep something, um, it just immediately wakes up again. Especially with the singing sword, we're not really going to be very subtle. We're going to get in the hallway here. And one at a time with a shield, I think we can quite comfortably fight ugly things. Let's get the red back zombie though. Um, we have no RC. Um, white ugly things do a lot of damage. So it's a little... Scary, but yeah, we can always hop past them back to the stairs if we start dying. Where'd you go? A book of necromancy. This has regen in it and animate skeleton. Um, animate skeleton is a really valuable spell to have. Um, it's a level one spell, and then it. Um, makes zombies that are, or makes skeletons that are relatively strong compared to where you are. It's like shadow creatures. You always get a skeleton of monsters where you are, so they're of the relative strength, which for level one is really good. I don't know that we're ever gonna actually use this because we'd have to train some necromancy for it. That is an ice dragon. Um. Okay, well that's terrifying without any RC. Can we just confuse it? This is this must be our depths um, vault. So there's one. There are ones that can have fire and ice dragons in there, um, and I'd say our singing sword noise probably pulled it out. Um, they can do roughly 75 damage if with bolts of cold if you don't have any RC. Alright, so let's try Confusion. I think this will work if we can hit. Yeah. And I'm thinking, do we just frenzy the gargoyle and get him to kill the ice dragon for us? Probably not. Ooh, maybe we... Nah. He's unaffected. Why is he better than the ice dragon? Okay, he's just super unaffected. Um... I want to be running. Let's confuse this guy. Okay, we've only got three needles of confusion now. Alright. We're just slowly walking. There's a, another one. Um, let's get him too. So it's a double ice dragon. And then, okay, he's confused too. Let's hop back towards the stairs. Okay. I'm going to start again. Alright, double ice dragon. We'll eat one of our two bread rations. Um, and a hydra. What if we try frenzy on the ice dragon? Then he will potentially kill the gargoyle for us. We missed. Go again. Failed. 
Okay, got him. All right, so we're gonna start hitting the eye of draining. Okay, we're gonna run around the Hydra and hopefully the ice dragon will kill him for us. Um, let's just throw some tomahawks maybe. Okay, now we have a, an angry ice dragon. Uh, that's actually, it's probably better because we're most afraid of the ice blast way more than we are of its physical damage. But I still think we um, try to confusion needle it. Well, actually, before we do that, let's hop back towards these stairs so we can just escape. Um, never mind, we can't. Dragon is slowed. Can we confuse him? No, one more. No. Uh, do we frenzy him again? Maybe. Resisted? Okay, hit us for a lot of cold damage. We're going up. Okay, so in some ways that was successful, in other ways it wasn't. Um, <laughs> we killed the other stuff. We killed the Hydra, we killed the Gargoyle. But our issue is still that this Ice Dragon can just hit us for really damaging cold bolts. They don't see Invis, we could do that. Maybe we do just frenzy him. Let's go to the other stair though and just fight him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, so he's frenzied. Um, if this goes badly, we can hop this way and go up those stairs. But I'm actually much less afraid of a hasted-minded ice dragon in melee than I am of one that's shooting bolts of cold, believe it or not. Oh right, no target in view. This always, this keeps getting me. Because he's neutral, the game doesn't consider him dangerous. So I gotta hit control and down to swing downwards. Um, maybe I should be afraid. No, I think we're winning. Yeah, we're winning, okay. <laughs> and with Gozag, you never ever get Ice Dragon scales. Um, I don't wanna fight him with his Pain Reflection up. Also worth noting that he has a 57% chance to agony us. Um, similar thing, if this goes bad, we can hop up and go up those stairs. Good old scene sword. Um, he had his reflection up, but he was almost dead, so just hit him. Alright, we know there's one more dragon around. Oof, fruit, food. Getting our confusion needles back, that's handy. That way we don't have to frenzy the ice dragon, we can try to confuse him. He's behind us. Was that actually him? Or is that just my memory? No, it's actually him. Confusion needles, go. Okay, we got him. Okay, I should be taking this slowly. Because if he comes out of the confusion like that, uh, we're going to be taking bolts of cold again. Um, okay, good. If we took one more bolt of cold there, we put it, would have probably had to potion petition or quaff heal wins. Acid dragon. Again, we can't get acid dragon scales. Just eat this meat ration. Um, do we have any use for Lig now? I'm going to say no. We've got 31 AC as it is. And we have our poison off our helmet. Also, uh, that was pretty bad play. Just slowly frog walking towards the Cyclops while he threw large rocks. Would have been better off to use an offensive hop and just charge him. Wands. File of Floods, good. Don't want to spend that much money on it. Box of Beasts, good. I'm going to mark it for shopping list. Phantom Mirror also good, but don't want to spend that much gold. If we if we have Loney in our swamp, um, then we can come get it. Um, Boxer Beasts are still really good with zero evocations, but... <laughs> Remember, the singing sword is me. But our gold is so valuable as a Gozag worshipper. 
Although saying that, we've got 3,300 gold. It might be time to fund some more shops. Um, we have one bread ration. I'm going to say there's pretty much no chance that we're not going to have to call a food shop at some point here. So let's, let's fund some shops. And we're kind of after... What we really want is a weapon shop. If we could find some sort of one-handed... Is that true? I mean, singing sword's pretty good. But if we could find some sort of one-handed flaming sword, that would be really good for Swamp. Um, let's see. Let's do our first motion. Okay, so you always get offered a food shop. Um, and I was going to say, we could, if we got a weapon shop, we might choose not to do the food shop. But it looks like there's a jewelry shop. I don't know how tempted I am by that. What jewelry are we after? I mean, we we don't have actually very good jewelry at all. So maybe that would be a choice. But I still think we'll just go the food here. Alright, so now we've got a bunch of bread and meat and stuff that we can come get. Okay. Um, do I want to fund again? We've got 2,500. Probably um, we're not going to need to bribe our lair branches. Um, I usually don't do it until maybe Vaults 5 and then maybe in Zot. So I don't mind spending our gold now because we're going to get a lot of it later. So let's fund another shop. This is basically like me in real life. Could save gold to use in the future or could just spend it all now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's call another merchant. Okay, so we've got food again, book, armor or antique weapon shop. Let's go antique weapon shop. Okay, we have... A pitted one-handed crossbow. We do. We got the rune triple sword. I mean, maybe it's not too late to back out of shields. Um, and we also got an artifact hunting sling, which, um, when you consider that slings cross train with throwing, we actually could use it pretty well. Let's see. What's our our crossbow aptitude is zero, which is not amazing, but you only need 10 aptitude to get to Mindelay. So I'm kind of tempted to find out one, about the triple sword, and two, about the hand crossbow. Now let's do it. All right, triple sword first. Let's take off our shield. Plus two triple sword of protection. Okay, so that's the least exciting brand on a triple sword. Um, have we seen brand weapon? I don't think so. No. Okay. So I'm going to say that does not compel me to give up shields. If that were a triple sword of freezing or, again, like a vamp triple sword, then maybe it would. But not that one. And then let's go the hand crossbow. Man, if we have to carry around throwing throwing ammunition, needle, and bolts. Um, we're going to have a conniption. Let's identify it. It's a plus zero hand crossbow, so it's not that amazing anyway. Of speed. Okay, so no. That does not compel me to want to use crossbows either. Um, the artifact hunting sling? Not really. <laughs> Even if that's some super sick plus nine hunting sling, I don't know that we would want to use that when we can just throw stuff. So I'm going to save the gold for that, right? And we're not going to not going to find any more shops for the moment. So those shops were a bit disappointing. Well, I mean the weapon shop was. The food shop is a food shop. Um, although it did have a lot of just random fruits rather than more rations. So I guess that's a bit disappointing too. Anyway, um, we've done our dungeon. It's time to go start doing a branch. Um, so two different ways we could do this. 
we go into Swamp with our great sword of flaming and no shield and we fight Hydras that way or we head into spider first with our shield and we use our poison needles on everything I'm gonna say let's go do spider do we have C invis? I don't think so, no so actually ghost moths, ghost moths are kind of scary although not too scary I guess Alright, so basically the way that this works is that all the regular spiders are vulnerable to poison so they just get wrecked by blue guns um, The demonic crawlers are not though so we're going to take those up Okay, good uh, Dance these guys up When they're on top of us, I'm, I'm not going to pull out the blue gun but um, when they're away from us, we may as well get those value value poison and hey, we can swim. <laughs> Alright, and it's really handy against these annoying orb spiders, especially as a frog. It's really tedious trying to chase those guys because they're fast and they run away from you. But with poison needle, uh, you can hit them from range and because they're susceptible to poison, they're just gonna tick out. So I'm just gonna walk around, pick up my poison needles while he ticks out to poison. We did take one parting shot though. Oops, okay, I got confused. Um, we landed back on the stairs, so we'll just take him up. Being confused by one Tarantella is okay, as long as there's not a bunch of spiders around to then take advantage of that. <laughs> See that these guys are almost dead by the time they reach us. Pew, pew. Mm. Could hop around this auto destruction. Um, I think I'm okay. Did we block it? No, I think it hit us. Let's poison him. Um, again. Okay, that one hurt a bit more. Okay, he's just sticking out the poison. Um, you can block orbs of destruction, so having a shield is helpful against those guys. Can also hop over it. So say this one. Okay, you just hit the wall. Could jump over it. Uh, let's test this out. Um, what are we after? I mean, we already found... Let's go up. And actually, we're not wearing our shield. What am I doing? Right, I forgot to put it back on after testing the sword. That's pretty pretty poor of me. We found an MR plate. That's an RC plate. It's not that one. We aren't really after RC. I mean, we don't have it, but we, we already missed Ice Cave. So there's no point carrying it around in hopes of finding Ice Cave. It's been and gone. Good old blow guns. Let's see. So we shot some needles at him, he's as sick as possible yeah he just dies to it, we don't even need to let's see how much damage he takes from one yeah he actually died from it, so one poison needle killed that red back let's try again yeah, there you go <laughs> these spiders die to one shot I doubt a wolf spider will, let's see Yep, okay, so we can kill these spiders with one blowgun each. The power of the blowgun. Here's a young poisonous handbook. Just in case you could cast spells, you can do a similar thing with all grabs and just kill them all. A wand of clouds. That's really good and makes me want to train a bit of evocations, maybe. Um, 
Let's drop our empty wand of flame. I don't know why I'm still carrying that around. So we can check out this ring. Magical power, yep. Instead of positive energy, yep, let's do it. Resist corrosion um, is good in here against any entropy weavers we now see. But we have guardian spirit on. So magical power is basically like plus nine hit points. Sweet. Testing. Does one needle kill an orb spider? No, it does not. You need a couple on those guys. Okay, we're getting slowed. Um, wanted to get out of vision of the snail there, the torpor snail, so we'd stop being slowed. Okay, well we got him. We got Int on our random level up. That's a bit unfortunate. It's probably the least useful one for our character. I don't know. Maybe we're going to learn Animate Skeleton one day. No, I don't think so. Okay, we are confused. We are more confused. It looks like you can't repost when confused. Okay, we've got other spiders going, so let's dip into our, conf our curing potions. Now we are starving. Okay. Okay, do we have ID? No. I would like to identify a wand of clouds. Random effects we don't need. I think it's turned on on our auto pickup. Let's turn off enslavement, um, confusion. Do we need more digging? We've got 11, maybe. Ah, there we go. Wand of clouds, we've got five shots on that. Okay, can still be good even without evocations. Um, but your evocations influences the sorts of clouds you get. So low, oh, minor magic. That's got blink. Let's learn that again. Spells that we probably um, are not going to use, but with a bit of training, uh, we maybe could. What was I saying? Making some amazing point. Okay, yeah. So with low evocation skill, the one of clouds can do things like steam. Sometimes it just does Mephitic Cloud, whereas with higher power you get Draining Clouds, you get Fire Clouds and so on. Backslash Minus. We have not seen Acquirement, Brand Weapon, Holy Word or Torment. In that case, I'm not going to use that. If it's Brand Weapon, I really want to have our Triple Sword on us. Let me read it. How about we'll clear this floor and then we'll go run and get the Triple Sword and then we'll read it. New ring. Okay. Um, hornets are also susceptible to poison, so he's going to get pretty destroyed by our needle tactics. Um, let's just drop our enchant armors. We can run around and pick them all up. No, that's not a good idea <laughs> because we're we go zag. Running around costs us food. Yeah, but we did anyway. Okay, this ring is protection from fire. Okay, well we can drop our ring of fire. In which case, I don't mind wearing this one. We can always put on the resist corrosion when and if we actually see an entropy weaver. Switching rings takes you only one turn. So, yeah. Don't be afraid of switching rings. See it all the time. Newer players walking around with <laughs> seeing sort of practices at scales, walking around with a seat invis ring on or something like that because they're worried. But you can always just switch to that when you see one of those enemies. Is there anything we want to recharge? Maybe our paralysis one, although I don't know why we're carrying multiple. So we'll just 
carry the recharging. Okay. I mean, if he's going to walk right to us, I'll just hit him with the sword. Painfully high pitched squeak. Okay. We can fight in water. We're a frog. Otherwise, this choke point would be kind of scary because you'd be fumbling your attacks. That was a lot of needles, considering we worked out that one poison needle will actually kill one of those guys. Shields to 10. I guess we'll keep going to 15. You notice webbing strewn around the room. You hear a chittering noise in the background. So I believe the way that this works, this is a special vault, is that when we walk in here, a bunch of spiders are going to drop around us. Um, which is okay because we can hop back out. Maybe what we do is we preemptively dig a tunnel. Um, plus two evasion. I'd probably rather have that on generally than protection from fire. The same reason as before. If we see a dangerous fire enemy, then we'll just switch to it. Okay, so we're running out of slots again. Let's drop our confusion one. It's basically not as good as our paralysis one. No? Why did we, we heard chittering, but then nothing happened? Okay. Down to two bread rations. Um, we might need to fund more food shops soon. <laughs> I guess we'll carry. Okay, well, there's a ghost moth, and we have no seen this. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go get, let's go try brand weapon scrolling our triple sword. Well, okay, I shouldn't say that because I don't know that this scroll actually is brand weapon. But it might be. Okay, it's holy word. Never mind. <laughs> well, it wasn't that fun. Let's go, to, let's go do some swamp though, I think. Are we that afraid of ghost moss? Probably not really. Let's go back to spider. It's not like we're a mage. We can just... Whoa, what a stare. Okay, we've got to break out first. Um, that seems kind of scary. It's really open with a bunch of things. So we're going to pick the third step. That's a moth of wrath. Um, I'm not really that afraid if he berserks just one red back, but still we can we can avoid that. We can shoot a needle of confusion at him. Good. It's really um, if it's a bunch of those dudes and they zerk, you're in trouble. But it's really the wolf spiders or the empress scorpions that uh, the moth rats are extremely dangerous with. I like when this happens, um, he's shooting a very ambitious orb of destruction at us when he has a bunch of allies in the way. Um, <laughs> he just blew up that red back. Good one. We're going to stare dance these guys up one at a time. Yeah, see if a Moth of Wrath came now. With all these dudes around, I'd be much more afraid. Mm. Don't like this very much, them all hitting us at once. I'm going to hop over here. And then we've got a bit of a natural choke point. So we can get them one at a time. Much better. Wolf spiders do surprisingly high amounts of damage. Especially if you're a low AC character, you just get rocked by those guys.
This feels like Spider 4, but it's actually just Spider 3. Getting really swarmed at these stairs. Although I guess that's going to happen with our sort of... Our sort of singing. Our singing sword. There we go. Um, but I guess that's not a bad thing then, because we're getting to stair dance the whole level. There's an Entropy Weaver there. We're going to switch preemptively to our Resist Corrosion Ring, rather than plus 2 Evasion. Oh, we got confused, and we fell down the stairs, and then took a bunch of damage. Let's try again to go back up. Okay. Yeah, and... Oh, okay. So the... The Ghost Moth is here too. Um, let's cure out of this then. We're going to hop up again, similar to what we did last time. We completely missed, but still, we can fight this stuff one at a time here. Okay, Moth of Wrath is here. Just going to swing it where we, we know he is. Okay, he was actually not that bad. You're a strong melee character with our poison, and you're not, you don't have one dangerously low stat. You can kind of just fight them without seeing this. We're down to our final bread ration again. So you see here, we're missing some of our stats. When Moss of, Moss, Moss of Wrath hit you, they can steal your stats. So if you're something like a Minotaur Berserker, and you only have four int total, fighting those guys without seeing this is actually really dangerous because um, you might run out of int, in which case you collapse, and then you, you move slowly. Um, let's see, what's it called? Brainless. Each one, each stat, if you run out, does a different thing. So if you have no int, you, you have a one quarter of your regen rate, cannot read scrolls. Okay, this actually tells you them all. When you're clumsy, you have no stealth, minimal evasion, can't stab, can't block. Ah, oh, okay, no, strength is the one with regen, right? Okay. But they're all pretty bad because, first of all, you collapse. So it's like being paralyzed. And then you um, move slowly. Mm. I don't know how much I like this. The Entropy Weaver hasn't gone totally ham. Screaming sort of coughs. Um, so we're only minus four corrosion. So we probably can fight him. Maybe. They have four attacks and they're fast. So when you're corroded, um, yeah, you tend to lose 1v1. Oops, that's not what I wanted. We'll go up just to avoid those <laughs> we got here anyway. This is an example where I feel like noise isn't a bad thing. So we're getting to stare dance the whole level. Um, that's too many. <laughs> Some die. Fired all our poison heals. <laughs> okay, so now we fought, we made lots of noise here. We brought so much stuff to the stairs that now the rest of the level should be less scarcely populated. That is a spark wasp, and we have no Aralek. Let's take him up. Okay, he's terrifying. He is susceptible to poison, um, but also we should just be able to confusion him. So first of all, I want to hop away. He blinked right on top of us. Mm. We've got Potion Petition, so we can try to get resistance if we take one more shot. But these guys do really brutal damage really quickly. We effectively have 100 HP because we've got our magic still. But... Um, Okay, we're going to try to confusion him. If this fails, then we panic. It did not fail. Okay, now we're going to... I don't... I don't really want to hit him with our sword. First of all, he's fast, so he's going to be hard to stay on top of. 
but also confused enemies can still hit you back, in which case we might be taking a Lex shots. Because he's susceptible to poison, I don't mind now just poison needling him while he hopefully confusedly flies around, not hitting us. As I said, confused enemies can still get you. Okay, I hope he's going to tick out now. Maybe we hit him again with another confusion needle. I don't know if that can reapply it. He appears confused. Okay, so I guess we just reset it. I think he's going to tick out to poison. Yep, good. Okay. Spark wasps. Again, the benefit of noise. We got to fight him at the stair rather than in the open. Uh, no confusion. Poison. Okay, he should be dying. That's a lot of dudes. Um, eh, we can fight them. It's fine. We're a shield user. We've got 32 AC. Decent amount of health. We have found a lot of enchant armor scrolls. Let's ID our one of acid. It's at zero. Okay, so that's going to be our recharging target. We've got nine. Not bad. Let's ID. Hmm. Uh, I feel like we just drop our Wand of Enslavement at this point. It does much the same thing as our um, Paralysis does. Plus 8 Blowgun. Apparently we've never seen Gloves to this point, so we need to make space for that. Um, let's go back to Evasion Ring. And I guess we'll drop Vulnerability. No. See, I don't think Vulnerability has no interaction with our Confusion Needles. Because it... Um, our Confusion Needles aren't actually checking MR. But we can steal Vulnerability stuff and then read a scroll of fear if we need to. Let's drop our Triple Sword. We can always come and get it again if we think we might have found a brown weapon scroll again. Alright. On to Spider 4. Um, this could take a little while, so I guess we're going to stop this episode here. If you join me in the next one, we'll get our spider rune, fingers crossed, and then we'll be heading into Swamp. See you then.